There's no denying that the format of found footage has a strong reputation for being lazy, unoriginal and cheap. But people who think that way are missing out on a treasure trove of horror. The subgenre has a lot of unique selling points that other horror properties cannot dream of, which is what has led to its oversaturation in cinema. Still, in the boatload of flicks from the format, plenty went above and beyond to give you an exceptionally scary experience that you'll be watching from behind a pillow. So with that in mind, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with the 10 scariest found footage horror movies. Number 10. The Poughkeepsie Tapes while very outlandish, this movie quickly taps into something that makes the found footage genre stand out, and that's realism. Even when going overboard, it can be hard to separate fiction from reality in these flicks, which is what makes this true crime-esque monstrosity of a title so terrifying. The film takes the form of a documentary following a collection of murder investigators as they discover hundreds of tapes detailing the actions of a terrifying serial killer. You watch as he performs horrifying deeds and the police attempt to track him down. While the movie can let itself down at times thanks to its reliance on melodrama and tragically uneven performances from the actors, it does frighten the hell out of you with its sheer creativity. The killer's acts are utterly despicable, posing some of the most diabolical images you'll ever see in cinema. Plus, the distinct focus on the psychological damage inflicted on the victims reflects the real-life horror of Stockholm Syndrome and trauma. The Poughkeepsie Tapes is unflinching, vile, violent and soul-crushing. So be careful who you watch it with, because it's not for the faint of heart. Number 9. Lake Mungo this Australian found footage horror follows a family after the tragic death of one of their members, 16-year-old Alice. The family soon notice a slew of supernatural occurrences within their house as they attempt to grieve and document their lives after her demise. Lake Mungo takes a genius approach to frighten you through the use of pareidolia. This is the recognition of images in ambiguous visual patterns, i.e. when you look at a cloud and see specific pictures. Throughout the flick, you'll think, did I just see something in the background? thanks to the movie's reliance on deceptive imagery, leaving you constantly on edge. In addition, Lake Mungo also drags you in with its stellar performances and emotional narrative, making you feel even more exposed to the shocking scares it throws your way. Number 8. Incantation If you have a fear of curses, taboo religious practices and unseen deities, then you might want to give this terrifying flick a miss. Unless you're up for the challenge, that is. This Taiwanese horror movie shows the struggles of a mother who documents her attempts to save her daughter from a supernatural entity. It tells its story in a non-linear format, showing how the curse came about in the first place and the dire consequences it has had on this small family. Incantation doesn't simply use found footage as a presentation for its story, it uses it to elevate the narrative. The movie's protagonist actively enlists your help in saving her daughter, giving the film a meta-narrative that is deeply in keeping with the subgenre. Number 7. As Above, So Below If there were a Mount Rushmore for real-life places that seem custom-built for horror, then the Paris catacombs would easily earn a spot on it. Even simply watching someone walk around the death-infused underground system is enough to have you quaking in your boots, so just imagine what this horror movie does with it. As Above, So Below follows a collection of explorers who decide to venture into the catacombs and document their experiences. Naturally, this ends poorly for them as dark secrets are unveiled and they are all confronted with a delve into hell itself. While the film could have taken a simple angle by having the characters killed off one by one by a mysterious killer, it went for something far more ambitious. The delve into the catacombs is full of creativity as each haunting reflects the characters' pasts and trauma, making the entire thing feel like a personal hellscape for each of them. Naturally, this fills the movie with a plethora of scares that shock you and reflect on the characters' personalities. Number 6. Hell House LLC Lots of people love to step into funfair haunted houses, but while you can certainly give yourself some big old spooks in such an establishment, you'll always walk out feeling safe and alive. However, this horror movie works hard to eliminate that sense of safety. Hell House LLC follows a crew of filmmakers who visit an abandoned haunted house site to document a disaster that led to the death of 15 people five years prior. But as they uncover the truth surrounding the event, they face terrifying supernatural revelations. There is a lot to love and be afraid of in this movie, as it's a masterclass in found footage horror. The use of tight spaces and clever scares will leave you constantly on edge, with the creepy use of inanimate objects making even the most ordinary scenes drip with fear. 
It's also important to mention that you'll find terror around every corner in this one if you have a fear of clowns. The movie is populated by a collection of haunted clowns that will leave you never wanting another birthday party in your life. Number 5. Grave Encounters an abandoned psychiatric hospital is one of the most ubiquitous locations for a horror project. But there's a reason for that, as the terrifying implications and aesthetic of a facility being left to decay is writhe with spooky potential. Grave Encounters is a flick that takes full advantage of that. This film follows a paranormal investigation TV show as they attempt to shoot their final episode. The crew enters a cursed psychiatric hospital and attempts to find paranormal occurrences inside, soon uncovering exactly what they were looking for, two deadly results. While the concept is very simple, Grave Encounters makes up for it with the strong use of horror cliches. It's a brilliant parody of ghost hunting programs and will freak you out with its stellar sound design, creative scares and tight cinematography. Some of the visual effects are certainly left feeling dated since the movie's release. However, the use of night vision and a frantically moving camera cover these well, leaving you with some uncanny visuals that will stick with you long after the credits roll. Number 4. Noroi the Curse if it hasn't become clear enough throughout this list, and in all of horror at that, curses are not something you want to mess around with. Thus, you won't make it through a sitting of this movie easily if you haven't clocked onto how dangerous and downright terrifying they can be. The appropriately titled Noroi the Curse follows a documentarian who investigates paranormal events. His camera is uncovered after he goes missing, with the footage showing off a rabbit hole of occurrences that put him and several others into the path of a monstrous demonic entity. There are many ways that horror likes to scare its audience, mostly through the use of violence and jump scares. However, you won't find much of that here, as the scares primarily come from the unsettling atmosphere, claustrophobic use of a tightly focused camera and spiritual influences. This is a found footage horror that knows how to get a rise out of the subgenre, using the medium to create a believable, creepy and pulse-pounding flick without holding your hand throughout the experience. Number 3. The Taking of Deborah Logan Horror is at its best when it's taking something truthful and turning it into a nightmare. Thanks to that, it's easy to grow terrified when watching this haunting flick, as it tackles one of the scariest real-life events a person can go through, suffering from Alzheimer's. The Taking of Deborah Logan shows a PhD student filming a documentary about the life of the titular Deborah, a woman who has the awful memory degradation condition. But it soon becomes clear that something far less natural is hiding beneath the surface. One thing that truly helps the movie is how genuinely it seeks to explore the disease. Deborah is never treated as an exploitative villain, as she's presented with a humanity you quickly fall for. She is certainly scary, but it's the supernatural circumstances that make her that way, presenting the character with dignity. That said, the thoughtful metaphor doesn't make the film any less terrifying, as the spectacular performance from Jill Larson in the titular role and the stellar makeup effects leave you with a lingering sense of dread and a powerfully unsettling visualization of impending death. Number 2. Gonjiam Haunted Asylum if you're going to make a found footage horror movie, it makes a ton of sense to pick on a subject that's already close to the truth. That's what this movie does, as it tackles a real-life urban legend surrounding an allegedly haunted abandoned psychiatric facility in South Korea. Gonjiam Haunted Asylum follows a collection of online filmmakers who run a YouTube channel dedicated to horror. This leads them to the titular building as they strap on some cameras and go looking for things that go bump in the night, eventually biting off more than they can chew as they become victims to the terrifying locale. Like Grave Encounters, this movie was never going to win any awards for its narrative originality. But that will be the last thing on your mind as you watch this devastatingly frightening flick. It's a no-holds-barred ride that throws epic scares at you with a quick pace, barely giving you a second to breathe. The ghostly figures are brought to life with an uncanniness that rivals even the most high-budgeted Hollywood horror. Additionally, the location itself has a dingy and gritty feel that makes you quickly feel uncomfortable, accentuating all the jump scares and atmosphere. Number 1. Wreck At this point, hearing someone throw praise onto Wreck is like saying I couldn't take Michael Myers in a fight, because it seems pretty obvious. The consensus of Wreck being a found footage masterpiece is essentially common knowledge in horror circles. But there is a reason for that, as it's an unflinchingly scary experience. Angela is a late-night TV host who ventures into an apartment building to shadow the fire service as they go on a call. However, she and her cameraman are soon locked inside the building, as a deadly infection turns the residents into terrifying monsters with inhuman strength and a desire to kill. 
Wreck is a no-holds-barred thrill ride with excellent pacing, stunning acting, and some incredibly frightening moments. It's also a film that uses the format of found footage to its advantage, as the claustrophobic setting combined with the lack of clear vision brings the terror of the character's situation right into your face. If you love found footage horror and have yet to see the film, then jump onto your nearest device and delve into this excellent Spanish horror. And that concludes our list. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also head over to Twitter and follow us there. And I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Littlechild. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day and I'll see you real soon.